everyone what's up so in today's video i'm just going to give you my brief plan for 3.21 all right uh what i'm going to do uh what is my leak starter so on and so forth all right so first up uh i have written this down also on my uh poe notebook so if you are lazy to see the full video or whatever you can just come here and always reference from what i'm actually doing and you know kind of have a glimpse of what I'm going to update. Okay, so first up, I am of course going to be updating my views. All right, that is for sure, <laughs> definitely. Um, however, POB is not updated at this point in time. I know there is the uh, dev mode, right, uh, for the POB, but the problem is the calculations are not done yet. So basically, whatever that you see on the dev mode is actually just... Um, picture and text changes all right they are not properly implemented implemented in the calculations so i am not going to use that because um i really need to see all of the numbers before i actually do the uh, proper pub i do not want to give like false information even though you know you can plug in the the mods or the lines on the configuration but sometimes it doesn't just give an really exact calculation all right so i'm just going to wait for pub it's not updated as of 3rd April, yeah, today is 3rd April, right, so, um, I cannot guarantee I will update all of my builds in time, alright, as you know, time is very tight, especially, um, for me, I am not, like, some full-time stream or full-time content creator or whatever, I still have my own work outside, uh, to do, and it's been very busy for me these few days, so I'll try my best, and I'll update them in this order, alright, First up is the Cyclone COC Ice Pier Ice Nova. Okay, this is definitely going to be on the list. I will definitely update this. The second is going to be Skeleton Majors. Okay, I am going to put this on number two because I have many players on my Discord actually requesting for like a minion build. Okay, um, guys, Karen Golem is dead. Okay, you, it's, it's very, very difficult to play on Lakeside. Like with the changes to the primordial jewels, now you can only find it in deep delving and especially scaling your items with minions. Oh man, it's, it's really got them difficult now. So, um, I have actually tested this out in 3.20 a little bit and it is still working fine. Okay, it's still doing fine. Um, so I will update this and this is more towards more catered towards the uh, beginner or. Uh, the newcomers, I, I would prefer them to actually play uh, minion build. It's much easier to understand the concept. Minion builds generally are just very tanky. Unlike uh, my COC, Ice Nova, or Flicker Strike, or Cold BV, it's uncomparable, all right? Because minions generally, you want to scale block, you have a good amount of HP, and of course, when you block on hit, you will just heal life. So that's why it's really good. And third on the list will be my Coal Blade Vortex. Okay, uh, the Explodic uh, Blade Vortex. It will be updated. From what I understand, I think it's going to be much more powerful with the changes to Coal Damage. All right, there is a new cluster and there are some changes to the Coal Damage and I think it's really going to be good. Okay, and the fourth one will be the Pathfinder Toxic Rain. So I know there have been some guides or some you know content creators that have been circling around already pathfinder is like crazy good whatsoever um guys i i i really don't know about it uh, unless you know you really try it out but uh my pathfinder toxic rain has not been on any of my guide so only those that have been following me on stream and you know, in the later part of the league, you will only found, you will only realize that I'm actually playing a very, very speedy Pathfinder Toxic Rain. Yeah, it's very fast. Okay, it's very fast. It has about 290 movement speed. And it was actually meant to be like a speed farmer or a speed runner. But somehow, I eventually managed to make it into some uber bossing killing machine. With very fast movement speed. Imagine how cool is that. Okay, so I will try to update. 
And the last one, okay, I really, really, really was very tempted to actually play this. Um, but with so much changes over the past few leagues, I have no idea how this bowl CLC Ice Pure is going to fare right now. Okay. Um, and for those of you that really, really want this build, I am sorry, I really cannot guarantee, but I got to say the chances of me updating this build is like 20% or less. Yeah, because of time constraint. Alright, uh, I'll try my best still, I'll try my best, of course, uh, but yeah, no guarantee. Okay, second part that I want to address is, what is my leak starter? Okay, and it's most likely going to be Cyclone CUC ISPL, alright? Um, I have addressed this before, I have said this before, if Nimis is not going to get nerfed, if the build is not going to get nerfed too much, I am probably going to play back. Okay, and there we go. And um, there is like a very, very small chance that I'll play another build if I somehow stumble across something that is really, really very interesting, alright? Like it's so funky and interesting, something that's not meta, but I felt like it's viable. Then I might try. Okay, but yep, 95% is going to be back to Cyclone COC Ice Pier. Here we go again. Um, the reason is... Very simple, okay? Even though there are some things that nerf for COC, like um, Arcane Search. So if you guys didn't know, Arcane Search now, no, the buff no longer provides spell damage. So I am definitely going to drop Arcane Search. And there are some damage nerfs from the passives. Um, however, um, I think it's still going to be good, okay? Oh yes, also survivability for Molten Shell. This thing, I think, is a big hit, okay? I, I feel it's going to be a little bit... A little bit of a big hit because reducing 50% of our survivability is quite a lot. Right. Okay, so the thing is why I have chosen COC when they mentioned that legendary equipments can be imbued with this. Uh, Crucible skill tree can be imbued with the legendary um weapons, right? Including like shields. The first thing that came to my mind was Cosprey is a trigger skill. What if I have a skill tree, the Crucible skill tree that is linked to my Cosprey? Guys, does that mean all my skills in Cosprey that is going to trigger is going to be supported by that Crucible skill tree or so? That's insane. That is insane. Okay. Imagine, right, I'm just going to give an example, but I might not know if it's real or not. Let's just say Cosby uh, is going to have... Okay, the Crucible skill tree. Let's just say it's going to have maybe greater multiple projectiles. Okay? For example, even level 1 is good. Okay? Greater multiple projectiles. And then what's next? Maybe a level 1 hypothermia. Supported skill gems are supported by level 1 GMP and level 1 hypothermia. Example. Okay, example. And what else is there? What, what else is good? Okay, maybe some added cold damage or whatever. Okay, I, I do not know. Okay, I do not know what's available. Guys, I only need to socket three, three damage skills on my cosplay with no utility or no support gems. That's crazy. That's really crazy because I can go full retard on the cosplay trigger. In a sense that I can not only, let's say if I'm playing Ice Spear, usually you'll go Creeping Frost, okay? Because Creeping Frost will generate chilling areas and it's really good. Um, on top of that, I can even insert in another Ice Spear. That will, that's going to give me tons of damage, right? And then let's say if I only want these two skills, then I can just put in another support gem on my Cosby. And it's easily going to be like a falling ice spear and a falling creeping force. That is some next level shit going on. Okay, I really do not know why it's available, but I am really interested to see how this crucible skill tree is going to go about. Well, there was one thing that my friend actually told me. Um, if you actually get resolute technique on your cosplay, then you can probably just throw it in the garbage. Right. <laughs> okay, so, yep, that's why I have decided on playing COC. I think it's really going to be very interesting. Okay, and uh, next will be my goals for the first week. 
it's going to be the same thing, okay? I have done this before, I've managed this before, and I'm very sure I can do it again. Like, this round is going to be much faster and much easier because I have gained more knowledge on some know-hows and I am probably just going to finish my low budget from highs, probably. Okay, so day one, finish campaign, low budget complete, and white maps, and probably sleep. I need some rest too, I'm human, okay? Uh, day two, finish Atlas. When I say finish Atlas, I mean yellow maps, red maps, and unique maps. Oh, I, okay, I forget to include. So it's yellow maps plus red maps plus unique maps, okay? We're going to talk about those. Um, yeah, probably can just finish all the unique maps. I, I would prefer to finish them. Or I don't really like to leave one or some around there. I prefer to finish it. Okay, and day three. Day three is going to be finishing my uh, mid-budget plus completing the invitations. All right, of course, everything except the fear. Um, kindly note over here, for those of you that is still relatively new, when you do your first invitation, please, please, please do it on white. Okay, there is no reason to do it on uh, rare or magic. Like, if you fail... That's going to be a hell lot troublesome. Uh, one more way, like you got to do it all over again. You got to think of it as the cost spent and the time consumed. It's really not efficient. So please do it on white, okay? Please do it on white, remember? Um, and yeah, I might, you know, I might actually be able to do the fear on mid budget because I'm going to play Ice Spear this time, right? So for those of you that do not know, I have actually tested out the mid budget um, previously, okay? And I was able to kill the fear on a 10 divine budget ice spear. That's how strong <laughs> the build is, all right? But of course, it's not the tankiest build. You gotta just piano your flask and go in and hopefully one or two of the boss die, okay? You cannot wait for all of the boss to spawn. That is not going to be possible. Probably you will die before that. Okay, and the rest of this is just farming for my high budget. Okay, um, some things I want to take note is I might not have as much time to play this league due to some travel work plans. I really have a lot of things to do for this month. I am really squeezing my time and my life for Crucible League and juggling around my work. Okay, so... Uh, bear in mind, I might not stream every single day. I really need some rest. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, fourth, Crucible. Okay, usually I'll just try out a few times in the campaign. Like, you know, probably Act 1, usually they already have it in Act 1, right? So, you know, have a try, have a feel on how it is. And then I will probably stop until I reach X. Because usually this kind of rewards you will get better rewards only after you start mapping okay so yeah that's one uh i'll update more on my findings in my daily videos from day one onwards but most likely green Row video is going to have the best out of the best usually okay like come on man it's new league mechanic stuff um uh, usually it's always him and him only that does a full scale detail on this kind of stuff right um, next up is I will update on my farming strategies, alright? Uh, things have changed. Um, I mean, the skill tree, not really a lot has been changed, but uh, I see some changes that needs to be done, okay? Especially on the league start progression. Um, next is updating my low budget farming strategy and the end game farming strategy. When I say this, I mean like on a low budget, what you should be farming, it should not be too intensive, not too difficult. Uh, definitely not uh, no top hat or no rooftop strategy and end game we're talking about like everything is mostly going to be the same right so it's like more on the uh, growing hots um, harvest farming strategy I think that's probably going to be one of the best and with the new changes right like there's this gateway now and there's essence I am probably high chance going to be doing essence like what, three, three chaos for three essence? I don't know. Probably the essence market is going to crash. Everybody's going to do essence, I think. Okay. Um, six. Second build for the league. So I know some of you might ask me, uh, are you going to play this build? Are you going to 
update it for those of the builds that I might not update. Um, usually I'll do the second build for the league like only after one month, okay? Because I don't see a point in making a build and then you changing so fast, you're not really enjoying it to the full scale, you know? Especially on the first month where you are farming and you are progressing through the league. It doesn't make sense to change so fast unless the build is really very bad, okay? But I've been playing COC for very long, so most likely it's, it's going to be okay. Yep. And uh, yeah, of course, after I farm more currencies and my aim gain mapping gears, like usually after Headhunter, Okay, with tower up this time, I think here under might come much earlier for me. Yeah, I don't know, but um, uh, then again, I'm gonna aim Nimis and here under again, so it might take some time. Definitely Nimis first and then here under, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we will really see how it goes. Um, next up is I'm actually releasing a guide for at one to ten. Okay, this is still in progress, but hopefully I will be able to finish it in time. I am currently working at. Seven. I am writing down a lot of notes and stuff. I think many newcomers or even players that have played for some time will find this very useful. It basically shows all the shortcuts, all the tips, where you need to go, what you should do. Um, in short, how to be efficient while doing the eggs. Alright. Um, you know, sometimes you might not know when you should open a portal, when you should go back to town, so on and so forth. Um, honestly, right, honestly, right, even I myself might not know it all, okay? There are some maps that are so annoying. I, I even tried to Google it or try to find lots of past infos and whatever. I cannot find it. And if I cannot find it, I'll try to go the instance over and over again to try and find out where you should go, okay? But I just cannot figure it out. So um, after I release the guide, maybe if you have seen some additional stuff that I can add on, please feel free to let me know, okay? So a quick glimpse of the guide. So it'll be something like that. So like act one, um, the purple names are like the places to go. And then on the mini map, I will put in the, what is this? The, yeah, basically it's to show you the trial. The trial is there. Okay. So yeah, like how, where you should go, complete what, so and so forth. Take which waypoint, what other stuff you can skip. Um, things to take note on uh, wherever you're going. I do screenshots and of course I circle out where, what and where you need to take note stuff like that okay if the pictures are too dark or whatsoever you can please let me know as well uh, i'll release another video on this okay but for the video i am only going to showcase from act one to four i am very very sure pretty sure i do not have time to go through act one to ten like usually act one to four is the more problematic annoying one right after act four onwards everything should be smooth sailing um, I will say probably after Act 5, it should be much better. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to do Act 1 to Act 4. If I have time, probably I'll do Act 5 as well. And anything after that, all the way until Act 10, um, you can just see the notes over here, okay? It's very, very detailed. Um, I don't think I have missed out anything. Hopefully not. And I'm currently at Act 7, still writing this. Okay, there's a lot of things to do, right? Okay, and uh, there is one more thing that I missed out, so I'll just uh, say on the go over here. My streams, okay, um, stream timings. I'll just put stream timings, okay, whatever. I'm going to stream on day one, alright? I'm going to stream on day two. Day one, day two, okay, yep. And then this will be like a full day stream, okay? I will be doing a full day stream, so full day stream. And let me just copy this uh, and change to day two. So this will be a day one, will be full day stream. Day two will be full day stream. You want to see me eating McDonald's or whatever, up to you. Um, day three, I will continue to stream, but it will only be a very short period of maybe two to three hours. Okay, because day three, I am back to work already. And I really have a lot of things to do. So, uh... I don't want to overpromise, but hopefully I'll just be able to do at least two to three hours of stream, and the rest of the day will have to depend. Okay, it will really have to depend. Yep, something like that, because what is happening is actually my big boss is actually come. It's actually in Singapore, so I probably have to. Um, work with him and I got to like you know go out and entertain him and stuff like that so 
uh, yup, a lot of my time is going to be taken up and I do not want to overpromise any of this. Right, so yep, this is just my rough high level overview plan of what I intend to do for 3.21. Alright, if there are new, especially new strategies, I think many people is always asking for like new strategies and stuff, right? Um, this, what I can tell you is, I see, I see a glimpse of hope for Bridge. Okay, that's number one. I see a lot of potential in Abyss. Okay. Oh, sorry. So, first of all, bridge. Why bridge is because with the changes to the bridge stone, um, if the prices of bridge stone is going to increase, like let's say even like for a Chayula, let's say maybe ATC or something like that, if the splinters are going to drop a good amount, I think this is really worth farming for. Okay. Secondly, abyss. With the changes to abyss, right, you're going to get tons of monster now. I guarantee you 100%, like without fail, abyss is going to be the best content you can add in or the best leak mechanic you can add into your map for the most number of monsters so if you want to farm divination cups farm daily realm especially tropical island is back okay i'm definitely going to do a daily realm uh strategy with it it's so fun for those of you that have followed me like maybe the past past leak or the past 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 leak i can't remember okay 3.1 now 3.18 i've been farming Tropical Island with Delirium non-stop. It was so freaking fun with the BV Explosive. Right, so we will see how on that. Um, and yeah, Harvest Legion Essence is probably the next best thing to farm. Like, no doubt. Okay, so uh, look out for my videos on the farming strategies. I will, not pro I will probably not do a separate video. I'll just uh, do one video on farming strategies for all of them. And then... Uh, there'll be more to come as I explore more. Alright. So, yep. Hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope this is uh, good enough information for all of you. Thanks. Bye.